this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your August 2018 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising signs. So Aquarius for this reading I'm using the Universal Tarot deck along with the Oracle of the Unicorns Oracle cards by Cordelia Brabs and then I also will be pulling you a Romance Angel Oracle card as well. All right, and so at the bottom of the deck, wow, I do have the Empress, and this is what I'm using as the overall energy for you guys for the month of August. So we have the Empress, very nice. Um, some of you coming through incredibly creative. You could be giving birth to something new, no matter if you're man or woman, you could be starting something new uh, that will be incredibly rewarding for you. That, that can be on many different levels, so that could be you know, financially and emotionally, um, but it is, you know, a beautiful blessing for those of you that are giving birth to something new. For other, for other Aquarians, you know, she's incredibly creative, so you might find yourself to be incredibly creative. Um, if you're a mother, you know, maybe very focused on the family, very focused on a child or your children. For those of you that have been wanting to conceive, August would be, you know, a great time to give it a go and, 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 you know, just at least give it a go and try if you, if it's something that you've wanted. Um, for other Aquarians, um, you actually might be conceiving. You could be finding out that you that you conceive that you are pregnant here in August. Um, but right at the center, we do have the Page of Pentacles crossed by the Ace of Pentacles. So very nice. Um, so I mean, with the Empress as the overall energy, we have this opportunity or this news that's coming in right at the start of the month. Um, Ace of Pentacles, this could be a new job, it could be a promotion, a raise, maybe some of you are, you know, starting a business, um, but we have good news coming in right off the bat, and it's in regards to this solid new beginning, Ace of Pentacles, um, one of value, one that, you know, might add, you know, uh, more stability or security to your life in some way. At your foundation, we have the Seven of Pentacles which this is you planting seeds previously at your foundation you know you've worked very hard you have planted those seeds um, and with the seven of pentacles you have to wait for those seeds to sprout so some of you you know you've definitely planted those seeds and here in August you know they're beginning to sprout so um, you know that's amazing we also have the ace of wands in the recent past so Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and then you also have another Ace here in the spread along with the Empress. So amazing energy, Aquarius. Ace of Wands could have been like an idea that you had, some sort of spark of inspiration, an idea. Um, Ace of Wands can also be something exciting, something that you're passionate about, but you know, for some of you this Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands is the same new beginning. Um, but you know here with the page of pentacles hearing something about this receiving news in regards to this uh, and then crowning you three of cups feeling really abundant successful three of cups i mean celebrating this celebrating this opportunity so this is crowning you so some of you want to go out you want to celebrate you know this blessing or these blessings that are coming into your life here in the month of august um for other aquarians you know three of cups very social energy so some of you could be planning a night out something like that or if you've been working a lot or staying indoors just really focused on you know manifesting new beginnings for yourself you know this could be you thinking about maybe going out and having some fun with friends, family. Um, coming up around the second week, we do have the King of Pentacles, which could be a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person who is significant here at this time. But for others, you know, I feel like this is you focused on your career, focused on this new opportunity, this Ace of Pentacles. You know, it also can be a home. So some of you, you know, this is where your focus is at at this time. 
uh, in the position of your power, Aquarius, I have the Nine of Pentacles. So, I mean, that's amazing. Just, you know, abundance all around here um, in August. So, this is financial abundance. Uh, I mean, along with that Empress, which is the overall energy, just tremendous amount of abundance. If you were struggling financially um, previously, I, I don't see a problem here in August, that's for sure. This is you having more than enough at this time. This is energy around the third week. Um, yeah, just feeling really comfortable financially speaking. Um, the Nine of Pentacles for me is also a card that, that speaks about status. And so some of you you know, could be moving up within the company that you work for, or you just landed a great job, but um, you're in a really good place, Aquarius. And in the position of how those around you are viewing you, friends, family, I do have the Two of Swords, which the Two of Swords can be, you know, you making a decision, uh, you know, an important decision at this time, or even maybe feeling at a crossroads, being at a crossroads, I would suggest just really listening to your intuition at this time. For for me, sometimes the Two of Swords can represent someone who is putting something off. Uh, they're just not sure. It can be someone who's not really the most open. But this is in the position of how those around you are viewing you, which is really like their opinion. So, uh, you know, some of you might appear to be, you know, not sure or maybe putting something off. Um, so just be aware of that. In the hopes and fears, I do have the Two of Cups. So another eight, or not the Two of Cups, <laughs> the Ace of Cups. Did I say Two of Cups? Oh my goodness. So if I said Two of Cups, that's interesting. So, um, Two of Cups represents a union, a relationship, and this is in the hopes and fears. So if I said Two of Cups, some of you might be hoping uh, on a relationship. Um, three of Cups can speak about reunions, so some of you might actually be hoping to be reunited with someone. Um, but Ace of Cups in the hopes and fears position can represent, you know, a beautiful new beginning, one that is fulfilling on an emotional level or one that you will fall in love with. So some of you, you're hoping to manifest this beautiful blessing that's going to, you know, bring in a lot of happiness, a lot of joy into your life. And then energy that you're actually leaving the month of August with, we have the Three of Pentacles which is a worker energy, a builder energy. So again, you know, those of you that this is on the career front, I see you working very hard. I see you in a good place. Some of you are maybe being noticed for your hard work, for your efforts here um, at this time. Uh, you could be working on a team. Teamwork could be significant at this time as well. Um, but we do have some threes here. So three of pentacles, three of cups, the empress, uh, there could be some Aquarians that maybe there is a situation involving three people. That doesn't have to be a love triangle. That could be a family situation. That could be, you know, a work situation. Um, so maybe there is, a f you know, a few Aquarians that I'm reading for that may be a situation uh, involving three people is significant. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, two of Swords energy. If it is a love situation, maybe you're a little unsure. You could be dating multiple people. And two of swords could be you unsure. Maybe you need you know more time to figure it out. But let's do some clarifying. Let's see. All right, we will first take a look at this two of swords. Looking at the Two of Swords for Aquarius, clarifying the Two of Swords.
right, you know what? And I'm gonna take a look at the Three of Cups. I feel the need to look at the Three of Cups. All right. So looking at this Two of Swords, clarifying the Two of Swords, we have the King of Rods, the Moon, and then Justice. So, you know, for those of you that it is like a love triangle situation, you know, with Justice and the Moon, you know, the Moon likes to keep things hidden. Um, keep them in the dark. So some of you could be making some moves, taking some legal action, you know, here and maybe keeping quiet about it. Um, but with the two of swords, maybe not 100% sure, you know, you could be putting this off or thinking about it, contemplating it here at this time. Uh, and you might be involved with the a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, um, or you know, again, this is you making some moves here, but maybe keeping quiet. Uh, and if it's not you, you know, there, if it if it is in regards to marriage or relationship, you know, if it's not you, it could be your significant other. Maybe something is hidden here. Um, And with the Two of Swords energy, that you know that can explain why some of you are not maybe making that decision or taking that action so quickly because maybe not all is known at this time. So keep that in mind. Listen to your intuition at this time. Um, you know, do things on the up and up. Be fair to everybody. Um, do what's right, but also. If not, if you feel as though not all is known and you that you do need to hold off with maybe taking some sort of action or making a decision, then do that. Um, very interesting. And then Three of Cups, we have Temperance, Queen of Swords, and then Ace of Cups. So Ace of Cups again. Um, this is where your focus is at. Focused on maybe new love, focused on reconciliation, focused on... A new beginning that's going to make you very happy. Temperance can represent the sign of Sagittarius, so it could be with a Sag. Um, but temperance is also patience and moderation. And so, um, with you maybe coming back together with someone, or just simply manifesting this Ace of Cups, patience is is required when it comes to this. Yeah, and honestly, what I feel like for you guys here in August is is needing to go with the flow. You have new beginnings that are coming in. You have, you've already been working hard. I would continue to work hard, but also kind of go with the flow. If something is, is taking some time to develop, I'll, you know, allow that to happen. Threes are all about growth and, and um, expansion and, and making that progress. So as long as you're working hard, you will see that growth. So kind of just go with the flow uh, to to some extent here continue on working hard uh, and just allow things to kind of happen but I'm going to pull you an additional guidance card Aquarius what else does Aquarius need to know And then I'm also pulling you a Romance Angel Oracle card. But as always, Aquarius over on Vimeo, I do have the August 2018 Love Tarot forecast posted over there. And that link is below. And then I also will mention that in the month of August, 
Uh, I am running a special. I have my 30 minute readings discounted only for the month of August. So, you know, if you've wanted to have a reading with me, you know, I suggest maybe doing it in August because you will get it at a discounted rate. So, um, you know, just keep that in mind and you can buy readings um, for other people, your significant other, friends, family. Um, you can definitely do that. Just um, send me an email. All right. What else does Aquarius need to know? Focusing on love life. Excuse me. All right, so the overall guidance card that I have for you, Aquarius, is actually delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect the best. Beautiful. Great advice. And I mentioned kind of going with the flow here. Um, you have blessings coming in in August. Just be grateful. Count your blessings. Enjoy life. Take pleasure in the simple things. And always expect the best so stay positive no matter what you know with temperance here something could kind of be happening gradually but I mean you have these amazing blessings that are coming in uh, looking at love life we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring and so you know some of you this is new love this is new love coming in your feelings are real and I think you should go for it You know, some of you might have been, you know, very focused on your career. You might be a very independent person. And so you could be going from, you know, being single, very focused on yourself, your job, just enjoying your life um, to maybe getting into a relationship, definitely, in August. But yeah, overall, it's going to be a wonderful month for you guys. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And if you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. I wish you guys a great month.